control net keeps getting better and today we're going to have a look at multi control net where you can incorporate several control net inputs at one time. Let me show you how it works and what you can do with it and I'll go through my whole workflow. A viewer asked me if he should be afraid of the AI tool spying on him and I said don't worry your vacuum cleaner has already gathered dirt on you for years. All right so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have both control nets and the open pose editor and you also need to have the latest version of control net so go into your extensions check for updates and once this is loaded you can see here control net says behind apply and restart and that will update your control net now if you get any errors you can just remove control it and reinstall it check my uh, previous videos for that now when you've done that you can go into settings here and if you scroll down, you're going to see control net here on the side. And this value will be at one, which is multi control net max models amount. And this needs to be changed. You need to change this to two. I mean, you can do more, but two is fine for now. And then you need to uh, restart. So apply the settings and uh, then restart your UI. Once that's finished, you're going to see both in text to image and image image, you're going to have control net zero and control net one. And it's going to be the same as previously it's just going to be two of them and what we're going to do now is first we're going to have a scene so we're going to load one of my Healy presets i'm just going to add in i have colorful sci-fi mountain space scene i'm going to control arrow up to give it some more weight and then i'm just going to get a couple images out just so we can have a starting point Now let's say here that I want this image. So I'll take this one here and make sure that you save this in, so you know where you have it. Then I'm gonna go into my open post editor. I'm gonna add this background image and then we're gonna take our little guy here. If I can, there we go. I'm gonna be a little smaller, let's say something like this i'm gonna move it around a little bit and this is gonna be i'm gonna turn this into an astronaut and now with the current version of open post editor you can't send to control net with um, multiple models activated and this will probably be fixed soon but for now i'm going to save this as a png so i have a post png here i'm going to go back into our text to image i'm going to drag this image here, which will be our first input. Enable. I'm going to use the depth layers here and depth here. I'm going to lower this value because I don't want it to influence too much on the character. And I've referenced this before, but in a couple of my previous videos, we mistook these values and what this is. This is not needed for this particular task this is just to create a blank canvas so it's not relevant to the settings here so just leave this value for now i'm going to go into the next control net and here we will upload our pose and here you want to leave the preprocessor at none you want to enable and then you want to have open pose so we're not processing this image because we already have the pose so now we will get a character into this scene I'm going to add in up here astronaut in colorful sci-fi mountain space scene i'm going to do four batches now as you can see as it's rendering we're not getting the exact scene we're getting the control net values which is the mountains here the object here and especially since we have the weight pretty low, it gives the AI more freedom in what to do with the background. But we have the same composition. So now we have this composition. If we want more consistent mountains, we could up the weight a little bit. But you can see that the astronaut is standing in place in the particular composition that we wanted. Let's say you up this value to 0.5. I'm just going to lower the batch count so you can see it quicker. You're going to be closer to the image. You can see the peak here. It's coming up. It's much more similar to the original. So that way you can play with the weight value. So now I think um, 
We can see here, if you go back, you can see we have the depth map that we got from the image. And we have the open pose here. Let's take this one. I, th I like this one. So I'm just going to continue with my usual workflow and I'm going to send this to image to image. And I'm going to double this value. I'm going to make four images. I'm going to change it to caras and up the steps. Now this is a lot of steps and caras takes a long time. I, I think it's worth it. Then I'm going to lower it to 0.6. So we're going to get some changes in, in the image, but we're also going to get more detail. I'm leaving control net for now. And as you can see here, it's barely started rendering, but we've we have the composition still going, but it's starting to change some parts of the image. What used to be some sort of a rainbow planet background here is uh, breaking up a little bit. And I think that's fine because we're getting a lot of extra detail in the process. Now, if you want to keep more in line with what you had on the left, you're going to need to lower your denoising strength. The lower the value here, the more you keep from the original. All right, so it's finished and we have our four images. They're fairly similar, all of them. But I'm going to go with this one. Now, if you want to improve your image, you can use my usual workflow, which is uh, sending this to InPaint and improve on some of the parts. So let me just show you quickly how you can do that if you haven't seen my previous videos. Let's say you want more detail on astronaut helmet here, then you would paint that in. We change this into astronaut helmet. And then make sure in paint masked and then only masked if you want more detail. I'm going to lower this to two batches. And just up the strength a little bit because we want more changes. I'm going to render this and you're going to see here that it's going to zoom in. Because it's now rendering in higher resolution. And here we have our finished image. I think both of them look very good. I'm going to pick this one. Now, if you're happy with it, just send this to extras. I'm going to resize it two times. And I recommend doing Langshus as a first pass. And the second one, which is Healy's super tip 0.1 Swin IR. And then generate. And here we can see our final image. And I think this is pretty good. And with control that you have full control of the composition and the post. And with the addition of multi control that you can uh, basically photo bash stuff together inside of Stable Fusion. And with the open post editor, you can live edit the post. So it just brings on more creativity for your image. Now, if you would want to improve on this image further, you can see here that the astronaut is fairly low resolution. You can just in paint the parts to make them higher resolution. You can see now the astronaut here and the helmet is much more detailed than the patches and the gloves and the suit. So just keep in painting and you're going to get a very high resolution character. And if you need help with anything, come up on our discord where we where we share prompts and tips and tools and everything in between. We also have a weekly challenge, so check that out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya.